Hi everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again, here to bring you another segment on love and life as it really is. Now, we've all just seen the wedding uh, between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and everyone was very excited and enjoyed watching it. And the wedding itself was actually quite different and uh, quite, a, quite a step out from tradition and what's, been, what's happened before. Significant differences like her father not walking her down the aisle with Prince Charles doing that role and only walking her halfway and she walking the rest of the way herself. But, uh, and that was only one of many things, but I guess the differences and the unprecedentedness of it is, well, not out of line with um, Harry's choice of bride. Now, Meghan Markle is definitely a mark away and very different to all the other royal brides that have gone before. You know, she, well, particularly a British bride. For instance, she is a divorcee. She has been married and divorced before. If you think back to when uh, Queen Elizabeth's uncle fell in love with a, another American divorcee, Wallace Simpson, he had to give up his throne just to marry her. How times have changed. Other things is like she is actually older than him. She's 36 now, going on 37 in a few months. And she is also half African American, or what she and the media would prefer to say bi biracial. However, the media and everyone else has not pointed out this very significant development and actually historic moment in that here we have someone of African lineage marrying into a sitting European royal family, let alone the British royal family. It's strange that the black side of her has not been celebrated so much. It's pretty much been kept quiet. And instead of calling her half black or so forth, they've, in, they've instead keep calling her biracial as if there is something wrong with being black. Is there something wrong with, with having African lineage? Well, that's food for thought. Let me know what your thoughts are on this matter. However, onto the subject matter of this particular video, will the marriage last? Now, as a Chinese metaphysicist and astrologer, I've had a look at both their astrology charts. It's clear from both their charts, looking at both their charts, that Megan's chart gets assistance and help from Harry's chart. It actually makes her chart better and therefore her life better, which is um, obviously plays out in, in real life. I mean, just from marrying him, she's gained a royal title. She's now, you know, famous worldwide, not just in um, amongst fans of the Suits television series. I mean, if you ask me, most people before the engagement was announced, or before they were known to have dated, they would have just said, me, Megan Markle? Who's that? Well, now beyond that, now her chart, from looking at it, it looks like she will have two marriages. And that turned out to be correct. This is her second marriage. However, more interestingly, having a look at Harry's chart, his chart also shows two marriages. So it doesn't look good for them. Now, as to when the, um, well, the forecast breakup will happen, it looks like it will happen when Harry's around 39. So he's 33 turning 34 this year. So it will be about five years time. So that is in historic, well, in mar royal marriage terms, a very, very short marriage. Uh, it's been reported that Harry has had decided not to have a prenup agreement with Meghan Markle because he believes in her and so forth, and he thinks this would go the distance and so forth. So it is going to be very interesting to see what happens once the marriage ends and the divorce proceedings and negotiations happen.
Mm. I uh, she will uh, yeah walk away with quite a lot of money. Well, that is my astrological prediction on the longevity of their marriage based upon their charts, which is derived from what we know of their date of birth. So I am sorry to be a party pooper here, but if I was to review their um, marriage and their astrological charts, then I have to be objective about it and give an objective analysis. And um, that analysis is, um, this one will not go the distance, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> so sorry to all those uh, disappointed fans out there. That's all, but um, it looks like that's the way it is. And if you really think about it, she is really a Hollywood, a modern woman. Say, look, you can say she's a modern girl. That's not a problem. But she is an American actress, having been brought up in the U.S. and so forth. So even though she is very used to the paparazzi and being in magazines and giving interviews and so forth. I am not sure how she is going to do following royal protocol and the, and um, all the, the rules that the royals have to follow, things you can and cannot say. For instance, the royal families have to be very apolitical and that sort of thing. And she's been very outspoken on certain subjects as so forth and also, yeah, pretty much protocol as um, she did a fax po recently by going to a funeral in a sleepless dress and she copped a bit of flack for that. So having a look at, at what um, her personality was so forth, um, even before I went into reading their charts, I was kind of like, mm, not sure about this to begin with. So those are my thoughts on the marriage. Uh, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts by leaving your comments below. And if you've enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Well, that's all for now. Until I see you in my next video, where I talk on love and life as it really is, it's bye for now.